There you are. Why don't we get started? Everybody's a uh, bunch of people are in, and I see a, a couple others have joined too. But uh, in the interest of time, I'm sure we get started here. Uh, first of all, thank you all for stopping by, and uh, we wish we could have baseball for you to play right now. But there's so much to be done for all of us individually while we're doing this. We just want to have Tim on to talk about Jackie Robinson Day, uh, which we'd be celebrating this week on the field. Uh, so first of all, Tim, thank you for stopping by. Uh, no problem. Thank you for having me on. Jackie Robinson Day, and we know what it means to you on the field, right? Yeah. But in a time like this, there's a lot about Jackie Robinson's legacy, about him persevering and him being the guy that Branch Rickey stood behind to break the, the color barrier because he saw something more important than just him. How do you take his lessons into the time that we're all facing right now? Um, you know, just really, you know, just use his best motivation, all the things that he went through. Um, you know, uh, we know all the negative things that he went through. So, uh, you know, just, just being thankful for the moment and, uh, you know, for him paving the way uh, for us as well. Um, and just, you know, continue to go out and uh, continue to have fun with it. Um, you know, it's not really many black black kids in the D. So, uh, I mean, who's going to do it? Who's going to motivate these kids? Who's going to inspire them? Um, so that's something I take pride in. And, uh, you know, I definitely always look forward to wearing 42. Guys on the call here for what they can do with this time away from baseball. Oh, just stay focused. Uh, I think it's a good time to plan. A uh, good time to, you know, learn about yourself. A good time to, you know, understand who's in your circle. A good time to, uh, you know, understand who really loves you and who's there for you. Um, but also, like I said, man, it's a good time to get a plan ahead and, uh, you know, think about your future. And uh, that way, when we back rolling, that way you know how to, you know, attack it when we do go. What's your plan for you? Well, my plan moving forward? I know my ultimate goal is, you know, um, to deliver a championship. So uh, I'm planning that out. Uh, and man, I'm always on top of trying to be a be a great dad and be a, a great person. Um, and yeah, just man, keeping myself motivated and uh, trying not to get down at times like this. When you're on the field on Jackie Robinson Day, where does your mind go? Where at 42? Man, just you know, man, being able to put on 42 is different. Um, he left a, he left a mark in the game, uh, and being able to you know where that number definitely is is on. I wear it with pride. Uh, and, you know, man, just, you know, I feel like there's, you know, all the examples of, of him is kind of, you know, going away. The number is going down of, of black guys in, uh, in the league. So, uh, you know, I definitely wear that number with pride and, uh, you know, be happy to wear it. Definitely. Jackie Robinson, for me, it represents how hard he played the game, you know. Yeah. So what, what, what does Jackie Robinson, his game, what were some of the most favorite parts about his game? Man, just... Just really his overall game. I mean, when you step when he stepped in between the lines, he was a game changer. He brought every aspect of it. Uh, you know, and that's kind of like myself, man. Just being able to, you know, cover each end because uh, at some some nights, you know, one of them ain't gonna work. But you got the other four or five that you can pull out your pocket to do, you know, still impact the game in a in a crazy way. So uh, just the way that he attacked the game and the, the way that he played, he played with energy and passion, and he cared. Um, and he really didn't really care about other people's opinions and what they thought about how, how he went about his business. Um, and, you know, that's that's, some, that's something that, you know, I care with myself. You know, I don't really worry about other people's opinions, man. I just keep doing me. Um, you know, people going to talk regardless, no matter what it is, whether it's good or it's bad. All you can do is keep going. I mean, well, you're going to do that anyway. <laughs> Uh, what's the hardest part about turning away from the facility? Oh man, you don't really have you don't really have what you need. Uh, you know, everything that's at the facility is. I mean, you have it there, but you know, when you're at home, you only you got to work with what you got. Uh, so I think that's the toughest part about it. Um, but I think I think you know just more so remembering. I think just being here is, and being in control of things will definitely help you. And uh, you know, but once once things get back rolling, I'll be ready, no doubt. <laughs> Is it hard to stay inside and have to be quarantined from everybody else? Uh, yeah, definitely, because you want to get out and do things. But uh, you know, I have a family. I have two kids. Uh, I have a dog and a wife, so they keep me entertained. Um, so I mean, it still works. <laughs> when you're in the batter's box, what's going through your head? Like, what are you thinking? 
I'm the best. Can't nobody stop me. Uh, you know, man, just keep telling myself that when I step in between the line, I'm the best. You know, I'm the best regardless of what it is um, and regardless of what people say and regardless of what the, of what the papers say. Um, you know, that's why I don't really speak on, you know, too many things that, you know, about like short stops and things. I just continue to do my work and, you know, I get caught up in things that, you know, they're, they're just opinions. It don't really matter. <laughs> Good question. What is your most memorable moment in MLB? Uh, a lot of people would probably say like the bat flip. Um, I'm going to say winning the batting title, man. You know, that's something that, you know, uh, everybody can't do. Uh, that's something you got to earn. Um, that's something that's not voted on. Um, so that's definitely, you know, one of one of my things that sit at the top of my list uh, because that show, you know, that show my work. My work is paying off. Um, and it just, it just just let me know where I am. So, you know, I got a lot of more work to do because I got a lot of more things that I want to accomplish. I got a lot more things I want to achieve. Um, and I think this is a good starting point. I think I think last year was a good, a, a good introduction on who I was to you know a lot of people around the world. Uh, so now I just got to take you know take uh, take that and keep building and uh, keep having fun and not really worry about you know all those opinions, man. You you know you can get lost in opinions quick. <laughs> so you know you try to stay away from that and uh, you know make yourself happy. Don't really worry about nobody else. The other players intimidate you coming to your rookie year. No, I ain't scared of nobody. <laughs> I ain't scared of nobody, bro. But no, man, it was just, I wasn't scared of nobody. It was just, you know, I was put in an uncomfortable, uh, I was put up in an uncomfortable setting. Uh, I came in where it was a lot of, a lot of older guys. Um, I mean, a lot of guys, it wasn't really black guys, but, you know, for me to gravitate towards or, me, or for me to feel that, you know, feel the energy or the, or the love that I needed. Uh, so I kind of felt lonely. Um, but man, I like I, I mean, I knew what I was there for. Uh, I knew I was there to, you know, play baseball and, uh, you know, be the best that I could be. So I just, you know, continue to go. So, but now nah, I'm scared of nobody, no matter who it is. Uh, what was the toughest part of your career, career professionally? Like, get, get uh, into where you are right now. Uh, man, play just, you know. I a lot, so I got tough background. Um, but as far as in baseball, man, just, you know, a lot of people be count me out. Uh, and that's something that, that really, like, stick with me. Um, I like to prove people wrong, so that, that really motivates me because a lot of people did count me out. Uh, like I said, I didn't know I was going to be, you know, I didn't know I was going to make it to the big leagues and, and turn it in. Um, so I just continue to push to try to prove people wrong. Um, you know, man, my defense, uh, a lot of people talk about my defense. Um, and yeah, I led the league last year, but uh, I'm continuing to work. I'm continuing to work, uh, and, I'm, and I'm okay, and I'm open with talking about that um, because I know the work that, that I know my work ethic, and I know the work that I have to put in to get to where I'm going. Um, but I just stay motivated, and I don't really, you know, and then anybody opinion, you know, kind of you know shape who I am. I shape myself and uh, you know, present myself in the, in the way that I want to. So I don't nobody really, I don't let nobody describe who I am. How you like, how you stay positive when you're in a slump or something? Uh, I just, I just try to remember the times when I was hot um, and try not to overthink it. Cause I mean, it's the simplest thing really. Um, all you gotta do is get a good pitch to hit and put a good swing on it. Um, so try not to think too much about body parts. And uh, like I said, I mean, this is something you've been doing your whole life. So, I mean, it should be normal to you and you should, you know, I think, I think you get to a point where you identify yourself that way when you do get in slumps, you know what it is instead of, you know, fishing for other things that don't really matter. <laughs> what was the hardest part about coming up into the room? Um, I mean, I was just worried about like, you know, about pitching and hitting. Um, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that, you know, I didn't know. Uh, and then I learned when I got there. Um, and just not, and try not to get flooded with too much information that they give you. Um, and just really, you know, taking what's best for you. Um, just really, you know, uh, the grind, man. The grind, man. You play every day and you're going from city to city. Uh, it makes it tough. Um, so it kind of takes a minute to get, you know, get adapted to it. Um, you know, especially coming from the minor leagues where you didn't really play that 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 many games and you got the extra month now. So uh, yeah, man, I think just the grind really. You know, getting up grinding every day. 
how did you become like so confident in yourself and when did you become so confident? Because it seemed like you're like a confident player. Yeah. Um to be honest, I started paying attention to things that I did. Um, I started paying I start I started paying attention to my uh to all my work. I started paying attention to the people around me. I started watching things. I started watching my every move and like actually patrolling those moments. Um and just it built it built from there. Um, and built for there, from there, and I just was in control of every moment. And uh, also with baseball, bro, just, you know, figuring out to work for myself, going in the cage, going to work myself. Uh, I mean, if you know what you're doing, then, I mean, it's really, you know, it's, there's really nothing that can stop you uh, when you know what you're doing. Uh, I mean, you know you know what comes with baseball. If you know how to hit a baseball, sometimes you're not going to hit it right. <laughs> sometimes you're not going to hit it on the nose every time, but you can have the right path. Uh, so that's kind of like taking the confusion out of it and uh, keep you in that positive zone. I mean, you you are playing a struggling a struggling sport, so you gotta you know try to get your get your wins wins in when you can and, and you know enjoy them. Uh, so I enjoy all my wins when I when I do get them or hit home runs or whatever it is. My question is, when you're done with baseball, <clears throat> what's the impact you want to leave on the game? You know, drawing more more blacks to the game and introducing it to more black kids and uh, inspiring more black kids and also inspiring, you know, fans all across the world to watch baseball because I feel like baseball is one of those sports that, you know, nobody watches um, or nobody really knows the players. Um, so, yeah, man, just really, you know, being able to be yourself while playing it and also bring your personality into it. And I think just having and really enjoying the game and, you know, allowing you to be yourself and being the best you. Well, Tim, thank you so much for spending the time. I, I hope it was valuable to, to the whole team here. And, and thank you yeah. all for jumping on and asking such great questions. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate you, definitely.